Hello and welcome to Gathering at the Bar. A thief won, or in this case I'm playing a gold uh, fan mission. This one is of particular note because it was the very first fan made mission not released, but the very first one made. Um, the There was a petition uh, started at the beginning in 1999 by uh, members of the community for Looking Glass to release their editor tools so that the fans could make more missions for Thief. Um, and that was before Thief Gold was even out, so this was, this was only a, you know, a few months after the uh, release of Thief the Dark Project. And uh, so the developers at Looking Glass got in touch with uh, Trimfect one of the fans, and um, I don't know why, I don't know for well, what criteria they were using to pick, but uh, they they asked him to, gave him, gave him the editor under NDA and the budget documentation, asked him to try his hand at making a mission, because uh, they wanted to see, you know, were the tools actually going to be usable by the community as, were, as it was, or would they need to be putting in lots of work to update them and uh, so he made this mission uh, and showed them in a beta stage I guess and they obviously impressed enough by what he did and by the fervor of the community and released uh, the editor in uh, near the end of May in 1999 and this uh, trim effect then spent uh, a little bit of time finishing up this mission and polishing off and eventually released it on the 10th of June 1999 and there were a couple of other missions that were made in much shorter period of time that were released first but this one uh, gets the uh, kudos for being the earliest fan mission. Uh, so let's begin. If you have followed my instructions, by the time you read this, you should be well on your way to the Grieving Buruk Inn. Remember when Garrett stole that scepter from Fat Lord Bafford? Well, I have a place for it in my circle, and I need you to get it for me. Garrett peddled it off, and eventually it came into the possession of a minor merchant. Now there is going to be a merchant's fair starting tomorrow. Some of the attendees will be staying at the inn tonight. The man who has Bafford's scepter will be there grab it. You might want to take a souvenir or two for yourself while you are in there, to hide the true objective of your thievery. Just remember, the Bafford Scepter is mine. When you have it, meet your contact by the fountain outside. One last thing, shutting down the power should make things easier. That is, if you like things easy. I know it's been a while for you, but I have faith in your abilities. Sincerely, Nightfall. Master of the Circle of Stone and Shadow. Yeah. Right, well, I don't know who I am, but I'm not Garrett, and so I'm stealing goods that Garrett has previously stolen and sold off. So, Master Nightfall wants the Baffert Scepter and 600 goodies. This is normal difficulty. If we go up to Expert, uh, you want a nice scepter for myself too, so grab a golden one, okay. Keep your reputation as an honorable thief, don't kill anyone, and while in there, grab a value of at least 900 goodies, and if we go up one more difficulty level, impossible, 1300 goodies. But it's also made staying there, and he has a nice scepter too. Wow, this scepter's all over the shop here. Alright. Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try Expert. Uh, I'm going to aim not to kill anybody anyway, as I normally do, but this time, it's the game's going to enforce that for me. Let's give it a go. Yeah, somebody left the gate behind me. All right, let's check the map first. Of so we're just outside the Grieving Burrick. Uh, it's uh, this is a very nice sketch map. Uh, the cellar, 
the uh, first floor. I guess that's the main entrance. A couple of rooms at the back. A couple of common rooms at the front. Second floor. I guess. Oh, so there's the stairs. There are two stairs. I guess. This one probably connects there. Possible loot here. I think that's where the scepter is supposed to be in the north. Alright. What's this sign say? Gathering at the bar. Copyright Tony Holding, 1999. Through the looking glass. Through the, through the looking glass is the forum. My favorite forum. I can already hear people wandering around. We've got a nice open window up there. What equipment do I have? So a blackjack. Eight broadheads. Four water arrows. One moss. One rope. And one noisemaker. And no compass. Oh. No compass, no lockpicks. I better hope I don't encounter any locked doors. I could go straight in, or I could try turning the power out, which seems to me like uh, a worthwhile goal. Do I like things easy? Of course I like things easy. Oh. Well, without any lockpicks, that's not going to work, is it? Sewers, though. Sewers may get me somewhere handy. Hmm, there's already spiders down here. <gasps> Dead ones. Well, that probably means I can expect to see live ones around as well. No? No, well, apparently not. Alright. Where is this going to take me? Just the other side of the street. That's uh. Okay. There's the statue where we have to meet our contact. Another locked door. Really, uh, whoever stole my lockpicks, I'm gonna have uh, harsh words to say for them. Although, not being Garrett, maybe I don't even know how to pick locks. Maybe I just have to get keys. Have to remember, I am not Garrett. Windows there. It's actually good glass. Yeah, I can see through it. Which means you should probably be careful because it's... other people can probably also see through them. Oh. I can open it too. Alright, that's interesting. Oh, there's somebody asleep there. Oh, I'm tempted. <laughs> Carpet. Oh, there's a golden scepter. That's what I needed for myself. That's good. Anything else? I'm not gonna open the door. Room. Oh, that gives me access to the power. All right, so it's not like <laughs> power for the whole block. It's just power for the uh, in itself. What do we have here? I broke my leg while I was out trying to leap over some crates. It hurts, but the worst thing is we have to postpone our wedding for a week or two. Alex was sympathetic, but I could see the disappointment in his eyes. Alex went on a fishing trip with his father. I'm left alone here with a broken leg. I didn't want to say no to him. His father is old and weary, so it's nice for him to keep some company to call him. I haven't heard anything from Alex. I'm getting a little worried. Terrible. I'm still shaking as I write this. Colm died, killed near the river. Horrible. Alex is pretty upset, but we've decided to go through with the wedding as soon as possible. Maybe it will clear his head and help him. Forgive me, my diary. I've not written in a while. Alex is still in a state of shock from losing his father that way. A bear with those claws and other horrible weapons had escaped from the bear pits and shredded Colm into pieces right in front of him. 
I can't imagine what it must have felt like. Great day tomorrow. I can't wait. I'm going to be Mrs. Alex Von Leo. Why? Oh god, why? A Burrick came to our wedding. It ruined everything. I hate those damn things. My only comfort is, is that the thing is never, ever going to do anything ever again. Alex has mostly recovered from the injuries caused by that Burrick. While we've set a new date, I'm starting to feel like I'm cursed and I'm never going to get married. I wonder how Alex is handling all this. This time we've decided to have a small wedding. Nothing fancy. We just want to get married. Tomorrow we shall, we shall see. I try not to be excited, but I can't help myself. I can see Alex as I write this. He is standing there, ready to get married. Handsome as ever. No time to write. I have a wedding to go to. I can't take it anymore. Another Burrick came and ruined our wedding. What is it with this world? I'm just so tired of all this. Alex suggested that I buy a pet snake as a Burrick guard. He said it was common in the East. I think it sounds funny, but it can't hurt to try. Third and final try. Wedding is tomorrow, so I'll just take my sneak out for a walk before that. It likes to roam around the garden as I watch children play. Taking a snake for a walk. Snakes don't have legs, they can't walk. Alright, uh... Let's try sticking this in the ceiling and hope it goes down far enough, because those edges... Yeah, I should probably get off of that. Those edges look a little uneven. It might be hard to mantle back. Oh. Well. What do we have here? Ah, oh, that one's jammed. Well, that's the furnace. And that looks like an alarm light went off. Well, that's not good. These are red flashing lights. Alright, oh, that's just indicating the power's off, I guess. Hmm. Well, that does seem like not all the power is off, right? This light here is still on. Yeah, flickering on and off. Well, maybe that's the best I can do, is have, have lights that flicker. God, I'm hearing he's upstairs. All right. Oh no. Good not be coming in here. <clears throat> well, for his sake. What? I blackjacked him. Well, that shouldn't have killed him. Counts as a blackjack as a kill. Either that or his head is very weak, or my blackjack is rather too strong. Hmm. Is that him coming this way? Or does he only come when the lights go out? I don't know. What I'm going to do is not turn the lights out this time. Let's see how I get on without it. <laughs> well, it turns out the mantling is fine. I guess this is, you know, hard mode. Well, I've got a torch here, so this will be nice. Place to have a patch of darkness. Kill all banners. Who hath been sundering about here? Sundering? Never sundered in my life. I don't know what you're talking about. Identify thyself. Oh. Is someone there? Vigilance is our shield. Protect us from our squalid past. Knowledge is our. Is he dead? He better not be dead. No, he's not dead, alright. I don't know why I wasted a, two water arrows there, in fact, not just one. 
I, I did. Oh, hello. Oh, we can climb that. All right, well, that's, that's worth checking out. After stealing all the loot I can. Now, this guy had a scepter as well, right? Unless that was only an expert. She had some fine wine. Oh, how that? Hmm. Well, if he does have... Oh. If he does have a scepter. Don't worry, he's got a peephole into the next room. A bit creepy. I don't see any sign of a lever or anything. All right, what do we have up here? Well, actually. Come on, come on. Is there actually a dark corner I can leave him? Not really. Let's bring him in here. Should be nice and dark. And at any rate, the guards won't find him. <laughs> So you'll get in my way. So maybe that was a bad idea. Well, that's a long way down, and I don't know which side is uh, climbable. This is shorter. Hey, what was that noise? I don't know. Nobody. It's also a bit too bright down there. Too much coffees this morning. I'm twitchy as hell. Very, Seems clear. Very much too much coffees. Oh well, I've wasted all my water arrows. That's gonna be bad if I need one later. Oh well. I'll live with it. Don't know if he looks this way. It's not very dark down there. Oh, this dark corner here. All right, that's fine. So he turns. There we go. Patrols. Question is, can I... This guy standing in the middle of the room. Can I knock him out or will I think I'm killing him again? Let's find out. Who's noising about then? Well, let's not find out. See anything now? Huh? Ah! Three little picks. Are you dead, sir? No, you're unconscious. When are you stay in the darkness there? Three little picks, huh? Well, I don't think I need them. What's that? Who goes? You gotta stop jumping and knocking this place. You really do. It's a terrible habit. Let's just take me back down to the basement. Let's eat all my lovely food, huh? Cheese. Yeah, all right. Hmm, a few issues with the uh, sound. Oh, so we can get in and out here if we need to. Might be good, because, oh. God, I'm lucky he wasn't looking this way. You scan through the book and see a couple of interesting things. 35 gold, cleaning of the room. Two, the room now has a huge hole in the center. One can see the power generators through it. 80 gold, two small paintings to cover the hole in the wall done by that pervert, Alex. Plus 10 gold, Alex's contributions for me to shut up about his doings. I gave the spare key to our bar safe to one of my friends guarding the internet. Yolaus. 
He will stand guard and make sure the lights stay on. Let's just hope he knows how to change the fuse when it blows. Your louse had an injury in the back of his head last time this place was robbed, so it's most likely that if he's blackjacked again, he will die. Well, I guess that explains uh, the uh, sudden death when I uh, knocked him out. I'll have to be careful then. Room 1. Tarkris. Bastard has been complaining about the sound of the guards patrolling in the inn. He's a real light sleeper. Room 2, empty. Room 3, tie ball. Extra torch, plus 3 gold. Room 4, Cedric. Alright, I can't remember who has I'm supposed to have the scepter. Oh, I don't want that. Right, he's looking the other way. It's locked. Does my key cover it? Does. He's looking this way now. Well, hopefully he won't see me just here. Every key opens something somewhere. Yep. I do want to see what's on this top shelf. So let's do this in an unconventional. Yeah, I can't lean when I'm on a rope. Of course. Huh? Nothing. See anything now? Nothing to see. Turn around, sir. I want to see if there's anything on the top shelf I need to steal. <coughs> Turn to your right. Oh, maybe he won't see me there. Let's try. Did that shadow move? Oh, there isn't even a top shelf. Oh, yeah, there is. It's just goblets. All right, that'll do. Should I get past him again? Or should Nothing I to be seen go now. out? I think I'll go out. Someone behind me? Nope. Gotta stop jumping at nothing. So hmm. Right, he's not looking, let's go out the window. There's really anywhere better to leave this fellow, is there? Throw him in the sewer and kill him. No. Hopefully he's gonna be invisible enough there. Alright. What I'm gonna do... Get back in here. Back downstairs, we'll get Mr. Yolaus. Oh, hello. More food that I missed. Hiding behind these crates is there. Didn't look like it. We'll get wait for Mr. Your Louse to come and turn the lights back off. Can I hide here? Hmm. If I'm gonna do this, I need I need an escape route. Or at least a place to watch him where he won't see me. I guess that's what this is for. Alright, let's turn him off. Let's watch him come and see if he messes up the uh, whole situation or whether he actually fixes it. Guess a bit of patience is in order now. So if he just turns the lights back on, correct, uh, and then there's not really much point in me turning them off, trying to turn them off. If, on the other hand, he uh, messes it up further, that would be quite good for me. I did say, let's hope he knows how to change the fuse, and so I'm hoping the opposite. Now, if the worst comes to the worst, I could actually try blackjacking using the block. Which is a bit of a glitch really. It doesn't cause damage when you do it. There he is. Yeah, he just turns it back on again. Hey! What was 
that noise? Does that kill him? It does. So he's dying on a knockout stim, and not just on, not just because he has one hit point. He's obviously got more than one one hit point. All right. So I can't knock him out. Oh, he hasn't come and done his thing yet. Oh, we see it does actually turn the lights out for a while. Is it? What's the major's room I've already been? What's the other room I've already been? Anyone bang that gong, or I'll have more company than I can handle. That's not your louse, is it? Oh, that's him. All right. I heard footsteps and ran into a guard, and it was the one I didn't want to run into. Oh uh, yeah, we got this nasty people. Uh, uh, not that way. So I need to go upstairs. Thought I saw something. River, wasn't it? I don't know what have we got up here. I don't know how I didn't get seen coming up there, but uh, being out of one arrows means I can't really do any more to avoid being spotted. Stone blocks. Strange thing to keep in an attic. Ruined statue, which I can pick up parts of if I want. I'm thinking there might be nothing here except a potentially another way in. I have this grey key now, I don't know what it's for. I haven't found another lock yet. Oh, somebody sleeps here. Loving you always and forever, Veronica. Oh, is there a keeper who lives here? Veronica came to see me last night when Sophia was visiting her parents. <laughs> Why on earth do I write these things to this diary? Sophia broke her leg. What a moron. She always screws something up. I can't take her much more. I just want to get married to her money. I'm going on a small vacation with Veronica today. Sophia thinks I'm going with my senile father to fish. She is so gullible. The last days were heaven. I think I love Veronica, but alas, I have to get rid of my debts first, so I have to marry the idiot. Haha, <laughs> I told her a bear came and killed my father. I can't believe she really bought it. Not that I'm surprised. I'm starting to think Sophia's father suspects me of being a no good son of a trickster, and haha, <laughs> if only he knew. But now I have to play time to make them believe I really mourn for my father. Collect sympathy. Maybe it works. Tomorrow is the wedding and the Burrick is ready to ruin it. I've hired a man to release a Burrick right after we are married. Haha, <laughs> that should be enough excuse for Sophia to have a small accident. The Burrick got loose too early and it attacked me. My god, someone is going to pay for that. Now I can't get married for another week or so. Veronica is getting also rather annoyed at all these secrets and hiding. New attempt with that Burrick thing this time. I'm prepared and the Burrick should attack Sophia on sight. Ha ha ha. Way to go! The Burrick came and started to eat dirt. The fart breath dug a hole in the middle of the ceremony. Literally. I just don't understand why it's so hard to release the Burrick after the I do part. Veronica is getting really annoyed at all this. I'm giving Sophia a snake as a Burrick guard. <laughs> the snake should attack anyone near it when it sees a certain trigger image. The snake's trigger image is missing. Some kids must have stolen it when I dozed off on the streets last night. Tomorrow is the wedding, and this time there is no barracks, no nothing. I just want to get married. I can handle uh, getting rid of Sophia part afterwards. No, no, no! She's dead! And I wasn't married to her! My god, the snake bit her too early! I'm going to the caves to sort my head and hide from the sharks. Veronica has left me since I'm now poor forever. Life truly kicks you in the head and then you die. Maybe I could gain a reputation as a hero if I was to slay evil creatures in the woods. I'm off to the woods. Hope I get some great trophies. Uh, Yo, Alex. You left your ring behind. I'll take that. I think in the woods you're likely to meet your demise rather than become a hero. 
Alright, I wonder where the key to that window is, because the window's obviously way in. The question is, can I get down here without being spotted again? Oh, he doesn't always look this way. Someone there? No, no, no. Right. It seems peaceful enough now. It's hard to see, though. He is facing away. Hmm. What was that noise? Are you the one... I should have picked his bucket first. No, he's unconscious. He's fine. Right. Another key. We have a silver key. What's this? Silver key. Yeah, alright. Which takes us to a fancy room with tile floors. Who are you and why were you running through here? I don't know, but I don't want to wait and find out. What is going on? I need to be practicing uh, the archery. I'll take the arrows, although I don't really have good use for them. What have we got up here? Rather suspicious painting, but uh, what's up behind it? Aha! Uh -huh. Secret passage. I'm going to go check that room that uh, the guard ran out of first. I want to see what was going on there. Something doesn't seem right about all this. Was this the room where the scepter I'm supposed to steal lives? Was he stealing it and trying to make off with it? I wouldn't be too surprised. Maybe he's going to sound the alarm to say it's already been stolen. I don't know. No, nope, it's here. Alright, well, I've got Lord Baffin's scepter. I just need a whole bunch more gold. Well, another 76. Trombones or gold? Well, let's check out the secret passage. There's surely more gold there. I do have one more sour, but the uh, problem with large expanses of tile is one more sour is not enough. Well, I could place it strategically and then jump around, I guess. Creepy. Yeah. Creepy indeed. You got a statue of death. What's that marble slab in front of it? Don't know. What's this? To do. Fix table number three. Buy a spare fuses. Repair the floor from room two. Buy paintings to block the hole. Install the anti-theft system called Shock to Gallery. Get new fuses. Clean attic. Make toilet holes smaller. Is there a gallery? Is that a place I could have stolen stuff from that I've missed? I haven't robbed this room yet. Question is, is this the guard who... I have problems looking out. Uh, knocking out. I mean, if it is, I can go turn the power off to get him out of here, but uh, it seems a little less than ideal. On the other hand, this would be a good strategic place for a moss arrow if I want to try and knock him out. So we'll see. You shouldn't see me here. It's dark enough. I can make the leap. Over onto that moss and then hit him up from behind. Huh. Something there. Nothing. <clears throat> he 
You're not the one that's that's weak in the head. Literally. Oh, the carpet runs all the way. Okay, so I guess I could have been really sneaky. Ah, food. Food. Very important. Never. You never know as a thief when your next meal is coming, so... Uh, eat everything you can while you can. So this is the gallery which doesn't have the anti-theft system that it so desperately needs. Is there anything over on that? So I don't have the normal zoom, I'll use this to zoom. No, on the cabinet there. Collection of Saint Eduiego. Crown of Maze Navigation. Blackrock. Quietly. The Sword of Justice. Well, can't pick that up. Huge gold nugget donated by the King of the Mountain Men. Okay. Huh. Now that's big. It is. How much is it worth? I've got 1217 for 200. As you grab the gold nugget, you realize it's not nearly as big as it seemed on the pedestal. You can even carry it. Uh, that's a shame. However, banners must die. It's the king of the mountain men. So it's uh, Ultima Underworld 2, I think. Only Blackrock was, but uh, as well as Ultima 7. Alright, well, we've uh, got all our loot. We've got the scepter for our contact. I guess it's time to leave, and there's a nice convenient window open right here. So now that, now that I've uh, explored the entire entirety of this inn, I think I should uh, go out. In and out. Nobody heard that, right? Why would anybody hear that? What a silly suggestion. Alright, let's go meet our contact here. Let's see what we have. Hello there, Master Nightfall. Well, alright. Uh, I, oh, I got almost all the loot. I only missed 70. Picture three, uh, Mr. Kios. I thought I missed more than one. So I shouldn't have counted as pick, as picking pockets because I knocked them out first. All right, that was gathering at the bar. Yeah. But is this just a stop? Mission. Yeah, that's. Uh, <laughs> Oops, that's going on to the major towers. That shouldn't happen. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you here for the next mission.